What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. She's talking about Screen 5 again. Just to jump right on into it. So coming to us from One Take News, they have learned from sources that director Ryan Johnson will be directing the fictional Stab 8 in 2022 Screen. He is referenced in the film as being the guy from Knives Out. He actually did direct that movie. And in Scream, all of the fans hate Stab 8. And Johnson directing the film is meant to make fun of fans who become toxic because some of the sequels don't do what they want, like The Last Jedi. Sadly, Johnson will not cameo in the film, but he is thanked in the credits of this movie. So as far as like what they're doing here, now the good thing, of course, is we know we have another Stab movie coming out in this universe or it all it has already come out. But the fact that this in and of itself is what they are doing it is we don't know if it's actually a sequel but scream is a sequel it's just not titled scream 5 stab 8 we don't know if it's a sequel or not but if it is it's just not being called stab 8 so i think that's a very clever way for them to be addressing the current climate of things that are going on in the world because this was not going on as much when scream 4 was out but it's something that's happening very much more now as far as like the toxic fandom stuff and them doing that to address that i think their explanation here talking about it's, it's it's a way of addressing toxic fandom i think that kind of lends more clues to what could be going on with the killers this time around because we know we're going to be having secrets being uncovered that we didn't know about 25 years ago and if we have a fictional movie where this could also be where that flamethrower metallic mask ghost face shows up <laughs> in stab eight if we have a section of people that we are going to find out about who are so upset with stab eight in the film maybe there's a, another section of these people that are just that insane and they've been they've been looking for anything that they can about the original killings that many people did not know about and just hoping that they could bring something to light in a way to revive the staff franchise bring it back to the glory that it once was or that, that they think it should have been back when the original came out maybe they're a group of people who don't even like the second through eighth film they just like the original and they think all the other ones are trash and maybe there's something that they found out that has prompted them to spark a new woodsboro killing spree this would of course would have something to do with sam and her background why she left woodsboro and then that's how they could also be addressing toxic fandom even further just in, like an exaggeration of how far are people willing to go when it relates to getting what they think they should be getting what they feel entitled to when it relates to uh fandom and just what they are are fans of and things that they i would say just admire and just have a have an obsession with how far are they willing to go to get what they think they are entitled to from a franchise or anything that they love for that matter going into sam carpenter can she be a good final girl to carry us into Scream 6 and Scream 7? Or will she be a good enough final girl to hold the mantle from Sidney Prescott? So as far as like that, all of that I feel like comes down to whether or not Melissa Barrera can sell the people watching this movie on that. The qualities of Sidney are very present and evident with this character. She has a traumatic past. She has a past she is trying to run from and forget. And she this is something i haven't seen too many too many people focus on she has a sibling also that's another thing that sydney has but in this case you have something different going on you have a chance to see a healthy sibling dynamic between her and uh tara carpenter played by jenna ortega hopefully over the course of scream six and whatever other entries that come out after this if tara is one that survives the film and if sam herself also survives the film as well because with sydney's sibling sydney's sibling was someone who was the complete opposite not very healthy it was negative he was actually one of the ghost face killers roman bridger that being and their whole bond was just rooted in hate and disdain not from sydney mostly but just from roman i feel like with sydney sydney was just more so like in a state of like i can't believe i have to do this right now with my own brother because when she when roman was dying you could see it in her eyes the way it was just conveyed through nev campbell's amazing work as an actress Sydney did not take any type of pleasure in that even when she was telling Dewey to shoot him in the head it was just like you know I'm telling Dewey to do the right thing but a part of me does not want my brother to get shot in the head and it's just the way she looks after it's all said and done you know she does she doesn't take any pleasure in that because those two should have had a very healthy upbringing they should have been in each other's lives it shouldn't have been something like what they what they got in scream 3 scott foley he was amazing in the role at the end when they were interacting with each other their chemistry him and nev's chemistry just felt like a i felt like they were really related 
even despite them not having any scenes prior to that that's the biggest thing that kind of takes you out of it i would say the fact that they have no scenes prior to it but yet despite that they make it work it's as if they they knew each other they made it seem like they knew each other <laughs> uh definitely had that sib sibling chemistry and the chemistry just in general between them made that made their interactions at the end much more believable and it kept me engaged it still keeps me engaged when i rewatch Scream three so you have a chance to see a healthy relationship between sam and tara hopefully and as far as like the trauma because we know with sydney sydney's whole appeal i feel like besides nev campbell just being a wonderful actress she had a girl next door vibe to her you know she stood out from her group of friends she wasn't the girl that was overly sociable when she was around them she was very reserved we don't know if this was something that was sparked by her mother's demise i've talked about this previously she could have been more like tatum prior to her mother's death much more outgoing much more sociable but when we see her in screaming most of the rest of the franchise she's very reserved she is wholesome she has that girl next door vibe uh she isn't someone who's into the horror movies the way the rest of them seem to be but she also isn't someone that again is into the party scene we see her at one point going to a party with tatum at Stu's house of course and it's not because she necessarily wanted to go it's because you know if tatum's going then i'll go because if tatum wasn't going sydney would have been at home by herself that's just the vibe she gave off so with sam i feel like sam needs to needs to capture a essence of someone who stands out from the rest of the group we'll see the group of teens since they'll be much more outgoing and they like to go to bars we'll get to see her suffer from this trauma learn what that trauma is grow attached to her grow some grow some type of sympathy towards her and but this will also be up to just how melissa barrera conveys it all through her performance does she put on a performance that makes you want to see this character stick around in scream six and scream seven because a pat on the back from sydney prescott and just her giving some dialogue about you know this is this is your story now some like some type of cringy dialogue like that that's not going to be enough for viewers if they don't care about sam i don't care who sydney is saying is going to take the mantle now if the character you're having sydney give the mantle to is someone your audience doesn't care about then they're going to be upset at some point they're not going to want to see sam but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what do you think about sam do you think she can carry the franchise if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video